Hi y'all. Make it all maniac here and um today I want to try try to uh make a doggy nail buffer. All right. I don't I don't know if any y'all have uh dogs or cats who uh get real picky after you clip their nails cuz they don't like the feeling of a file or a regular file. Um my son and my husband like these soft ones. They say the, the feeling in them doesn't grind them as bad. So I'm thinking since a lot of guys say that's, that they don't like that feeling and can't stand that feeling and that's why guys don't do their nails, that maybe that's why the dogs are that way too. So I decided to try and see if I could come up with a solution for this with a Dollar Tree DIY. I went and got a thing of sandpaper. It's got um, two coarse, four medium, four fine, and two ultra fine. For this project, I'm going to use an ultra fine, or you could use a medium and an ultra fine if you wanted to make a file and a buffer. But I got one of them electric ones, which I can use every. I'll use every now and then, or I actually use quite often sometimes, especially before a dog show. Then I got a a car wash sponge. And there's, um, it was like big and kind of shaped somewhat like a dog bone, but didn't whoop too much in the center. All right, and you're going to want to cut down to a nice square. Now, the reason I bought this one, it's, it's how, how, how firm it is. It, it, it felt similar to a human one than the kitchen sponges. Now, I've learned ways on cutting these. Will not work. Will not work. Will not work. This is what you need. Big serrated knife. This Mm, something to cut off. This is what you're gonna get the nicest cut with this. Let me see if I can. Well, yeah, just do this. This is what you're gonna get the nicest cut with, and I just kind of like you would be cutting a tomato, and just cut. Now, if you're you know want to be perfect, you can trim up with a pair of scissors but you need a big big serrated knife cuts way easier all right when you get down to what you think is a you know good size for you know your critter speed if you've got a you know a, a, a great dane you might want a bigger bigger sponge i've got Papillon Shih Tzu Chihuahua mixes. All right, I got a. I'm starting here with the ultra fine sandpaper. See, here's here's a whole piece. I decided to go this way with it, and I wanted enough to go up and tuck on each end, and that got me to here. And then I folded it to where your seams are, are and, and I had to trim off a little piece. I, I want it to be as close to an edge as possible. So you get, you know, the, the, you can possibly use this side some before it falls apart. And then taking one flap, I cut up the length of what the sponge would be. And to do that, you, you can use scissors. Honestly, though, I used uh, one of my X-Acto knives and uh, did it nice and lightly from the non-sandpaper side. And then, honestly, it just kind of tore after I uh, scored it, I guess you'd say. All right, I got a glue gun plugged in here. We're going to need to cut some of this off. Not the flaps that we've trimmed 
we're gonna cut the rest I'd say go up just a little from the flap so I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors for this quicker at that ruler where is that line do 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 see I'm just gonna see where my basic cutting line is and by the way this is how I got perfect folds I I used a ruler laid the sand paper side down and fold it upward let's repeat on this side start to what we're doing here this way now we're gonna need to cut here and here and here and here all right we are all cut now when you have this, we're ready to uh, what I hope will be a successful assembly. Let's hope. Alright, I got some tacky glue I've had sitting upside down in a coffee cup so it comes out nice and easy. And I'm going to, in the center, squish on this because I don't want to make um, too much hot glue right there. Um... I think it would cause a bump in the sandpaper and would make it wear funny. So if this, you know, does truly work, I think it would have wear spots and wouldn't wear long or well. All right, but these ends, the flaps, I'm, I'm planning on using the hot glue gun. But let's glue the rest of this bad boy up not doing the flaps I'm not gonna do this this last flap either I'm not sure which is gonna be toward the top yet so we're not gonna do this side yet either better safe than sorry all right let's roll it up oh 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 yeah don't do that yet. We want to do our flaps. Now we need some hot glue. And this is going to hold all this in place. Now don't put glue directly onto the sponge. Um, I've used sponges in a lot of crafts. And if you touch too close or too hot, or it, 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 it wants to melt it. And that, that don't work. All right, now let's roll this all up. No, I did that wrong. Oh, poop. See what I did there, guys? Don't, don't do the flaps. Mistake. Say, how am I going to do that? Pause for one sec, guys. All right, I'm back, guys. I ended up cutting off this section so I could tuck. Didn't exactly think that completely through. I looked this up to see if there was anyone else who had thought, hey, we need this. And so far, I've not been lucky. All right, um, let's tuck these ends in first and I'm just gonna hot glue on that flap onto this so I'm not gonna um, need to do this one let's glue this end down so we're gonna glue the one with the flaps down first and fold those Alright, 
point kind of get somewhat near the edge Ooh, hope that dries nice maybe that glue was a bad idea but I didn't want it sliding around on the on the sponge I thought you know it needed an anchor all right let's take this flap and see if we can get it in here no it's ripping all right guys that flap just isn't gonna work so let's skip the flap we're gonna cut it off I was gonna try to make it all nice and extra perfect like a store-bought one but you know what I did not execute my pattern correctly I can admit it but this is not a fail I refuse never I'm going to work with this and make it work. Plus, I'm tired of my dogs scratching me. Even though they're little, I mean, it's season for shorts. Owie. And they like coming to see their mommy. Always. We're going to let that dry up for a while. And we'll, I will get back to you and show you how this works. Hey guys, we're back. It could probably use a little bit more drying, but I want to get this video out. Here is the doggy nail file and buffer. Now uh, we're going to do Tink's nails. Come here, girl. This works nice is a good girl. She's a good girl. Yeah, she is. Tinky Bug's a good girl. Is she doing good? She's a good girl. I don't know about y'all, but I like to go up and take the tips off. Even after they've been clipped. We clipped off her French manicure. She needs her, her purple nails done. Come here. Turn this way, baby girl. Good girl. Good girl. This would be so much easier if she was in my lap. But then it would be hard to record. Oh, that is nice. DIY success. Doggy nail buffer. Tinkerbell approved, right, Mom? <laughs> 